Her name is Charlotte. Mm -hmm. She, um, we don't know a lot of history on her. We think she's probably somewhere in the range of two years old, something oh, okay. like She's a young dog. Uh -huh. um, she has been with us almost a year now, I guess. I believe we might have gotten her maybe in November of last year. She was um, just found one morning hmm. in a kennel sitting out on the side of the road by the shelter. Somebody yeah. had just just dumped her and the kennel on the side of the road and and she was very very scared she was afraid of everybody mm -hmm. she didn't want anybody to come near her kennel and it was to the point to where we thought you know we might not even be able to handle this dog at all because she really really acted like she might be a vicious dog uh -huh. but one of our volunteers just you know took up a little time with her and you know by the end of the day she was fine she was just traumatized yeah. by you know somebody showing her in a kennel and dumping her out on the side of the road and didn't know what was happening to her but uh, obviously that ferocity has gone now she's mm -hmm. she's not at all vicious i mean she's a loving loving dog she's yeah. nervous right now because she's not sure about being inside yeah, she's not quite sure what she's in but, for um, here but so. she's you know she's thinking maybe the vet or what yeah. but but she's you know she's just a very nice dog she acts like she's probably a little bit food aggressive because she when we feed her she doesn't want anybody <laughs> next to her looking at her food so you know if somebody were to adopt her they would definitely want to feed her by herself she does not appear to be aggressive toward other dogs but like i said we don't have a lot of background on her so we yeah. don't know for sure but but she doesn't seem to be it would just be one of those things where if you know if somebody wanted to adopt her and had another dog you know just need to try her out and be sure that that's you know the way it should be and if not maybe she's an only dog but mm -hmm. uh, what kind of mix do you think she is or we think probably she's got some border collie mm -hmm. in her just because of the way she acts she's she's very agile she likes to to run and she's uh, jumps and she just acts like the the border collie acts yeah. uh, but then I don't know what else maybe Shepherd I, I'm just not sure what her mix this is. This dog's too. She's not likely to dog. get much bigger than no, this. No, no. This is probably about it. This is it, and she's she just I mean she eats a lot, but she just stays just real slender yeah, and um, thin so, dog. Um, but she's just a just a nice 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 dog. Uh -huh. so. Looks like definitely an outdoor dog. I, she would definitely size. prefer, I think, to be outdoors. Pro I can see her, you know being perfectly happy to come in and lay down and and get cool or to get warm but then to go back out and run and play some too yeah but, uh, all yes. right um, yes charlotte huh? charlotte yes <laughs> yes well, how's uh, everything going at the shelter and everything is is going about the same as it has been going it's just been so so hot we just yeah. you know we get out there early early in the morning and do as much as we can but um, other than trying to keep the dogs cool, that's you know about all we've been able to do. We're, our plans are still to to get our slab poured, to get our our addition done. But right now, that's with the heat, that's just kind of on hold. I but, bet um, they drink lots of water out there. Drink lots of water. We have to. Our water bill is you know astronomical because by this time today that water is way too hot so we have to yeah. dump all or part of it out put fresh water in they can't they just can't drink it and I mean that that is I mean the, obviously they can't go without food hmm. but without water and 100 degree temperatures I mean that would kill them immediately so yeah. we have a you know a lot of a lot of work a lot of folks help we go out and we we spray the dogs down. They like to be misted with water. That cools mm -hmm. them off. They've got those that are not actually in our barn. They have shade cloth, so they have shade. And, you know, fortunately, we've had some breezes, thank goodness, which has helped a lot. But, yeah. um, but it's a, you know, it's just one of those year-round things. When winter comes, we're going to be keeping them warm. So. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Is this, this dog old enough to be spayed already? Oh, yes, yes. So and see, that's been. another thing. You know, she may have already been spayed. We don't even know that because when she came to us, she was certainly old enough to yeah. have been. So, you know, that's when you don't, when you get a dog like that, you're not sure. So yeah. what would happen there is, you know, she would go to the vet and, you know, she would undergo the spaying. And, you know, if she has been, you know, that's mm. just the only yeah. way you can figure it out because there are, we see no scars or anything. Yeah. So. Uh, but, um, but the, her $90 adoption fee, of course, would cover that. So mm -hmm. she would for sure be spayed when she left the vet. Yeah. So. And uh, the phone number to call if uh, someone is interested in uh, Charlotte or, or any of your other dogs out there. It's 439-5019.